Welcome to another video from sickmath.co.uk where you can find lots of free math videos. This one's about kinematics of particles that just means how things move. And there are formulas that tell you how those things move. But before we even talk to you about the formulas, you need to understand a couple of words. Those words are displacement and velocity. Displacement just means distance in a direction. So you kind of have a plus or a minus sign attached to it, yeah? You kind of decide, like, if we're talking about vertical displacement, um, you have to decide which direction is positive. So, upwards could be positive or downwards could be positive, up to you. Now, if you decide upwards is positive, you write that those numbers in the upwards direction as positive numbers, just normal numbers. But all numbers in the downwards direction will be negative. Okay, um, and the same with velocity. Velocity is just speed in a given direction. So again, you kind of have to decide which way is positive, which one is negative. Yeah, but if you decide, for example, displacement is positive going upward, so will velocity be positive going upwards. And if you went downwards with velocity, you would have to put a minus sign in front of that number that belongs to the velocity. So here are the formulas. S equals ut plus half at squared. V squared equals u squared plus 2 as. And V equals u plus a t. Oh yes, I just have to remind you that V is the ending velocity and u is the starting velocity and t is the time taken. And oh, I didn't mention that, did I? The s is also the displacement. Okay, so Let's zoom through this stuff. Um, there's a question where where we have a particle projected vertically at 5 meters per second from 1 meter above the ground. So we start from 1 meter above the ground, we shoot our tiny particle upwards vertically at 5 meters per second. And the question is, how high does it reach? Well, here's the information. U equals 5 because that's our initial speed. A is the acceleration on it, um, which we know is minus 9.8 because 9.8 is the acceleration due to gravity and it acts downwards, so that's why I write minus 9.8. And S is something I need to find out, so I stick it in and I just write equals question mark for now. And V equals 0 because when we get to our highest point, it's kind of slowing down until it when it reaches its highest point it's zero and then it goes back down again of course so those are the things or the letters we want in our formula so which formula has V S U and A mm -hmm. let's have a look around and it's the middle one V squared equals U squared plus 2 AS so we use it and we stick in our numbers so V squared is going to be 0 since V is 0 in the first place U squared is going to be 25 since U is 5 and 2 AS is going to be 2 times minus 9.8 times S which is the same as min minus 19.6 S times s anyway and rearranging gives you s equals 25 over 19.6 which is 1.28 so that is how far the particle has traveled until it's reached its highest point but that is not the answer the actual height h is equal to 2.28 and you know why it's because we started from one meter above the ground in the first place so how far are we is well when we say how high you've reached you've it's the distance you are above the ground right so anyway that's the answer 2.28 meters i suppose i could have stuck that meters symbol there but i didn't anyway the next bit the next thing they want to know is how fast will it be when it reaches when it hits the ground so it's kind of gone up but then it's gone back down okay and remember we started from one meter above the ground so again like last time um, we're using upwards as positive we could have used upwards I mean upwards as negative but anyway so we use upwards as positive therefore downwards as negative and we want to go one meter below us so minus one meter uh, is our displacement that we're looking for V is the thing we're looking for at the end uh, the speed and U is equal to our initial speed which is again five meters per second acceleration is again minus 
minus 9.8 meters per second squared um, and let's look for a formula and you know what I didn't really pick these this example that well uh, because we happen to use the same formula again okay it doesn't have a T if we had a T we might have used one of those ones but anyway uh, let's go for it. So V, we still don't know it, so we just start carry on writing V squared. U squared is still 25. 2 AES in this case has to be, happens to be 19.6 because we're doing uh, 2 times minus 9.8 times minus 1. So minus times a minus is a plus, so you get that. Anyway, so anyway, you work out what v squared is, then you square root and you get v equals 6.68 meters per second. Then we have done the example. Thank you very much.